Last night while imaging IC348, one of the viewers asked about field rotation. Uh, what is it? Uh, field rotation occurs primarily when you're using an altitude azimuth telescope where the sensor remains parallel to the horizon but the targets in the sky are moving uh, following the right ascension and uh, going in circles essentially. Uh, the, this presentation I give credit to the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada, uh, the Calgary Centre, which has uh, doggedly followed the problem of field rotation oh, for uh, the better part of uh, a decade and a half. Uh, looking at uh, an extensive coverage, uh, I uh, have uh, derived just a couple of slides uh, to talk about uh, what it is that we need to know and what it is that we need to do about uh, field rotation. The formula that uh, we will look at uh, momentarily uh, was derived by uh, Ras Patera in uh, 2022, uh, fairly recently, uh, in a paper on uh, deriving field rotation rate for an alt as mounted telescope. California Skies, uh, Curtis uh, Maccioni, uh, put that formula in a very elegant way and we're going to take a look at uh, that formula. The field rotation rate <coughs> arc seconds per second is uh, about 15 degrees per hour times the cosine of the latitude times the cosine of the azimuth angle divided by the cosine of the altitude angle. So we're looking at here uh, 15 degrees per hour if uh, all the other terms are one essentially. What that means is uh, for a given latitude, the azimuth angle we're best off if it is 90 degrees. So if the target is uh, due east or due west, uh, the cosine will be one. and uh, the altitude would like it to be as low as possible uh, considering atmospheric uh, dispersion that occurs at lower altitudes uh, it's going to be a trade-off as soon as the target is above say 20 degrees it is good when the target is at 90 degrees directly overhead an alt as mount has no chance of dealing with field rotation actually field rotation uh, shoots towards infinity. So looking again at uh, what that equation tells us is uh, the higher you live in latitude the better off you are. That is one of the few advantages of a high latitude. Uh, again from California skies uh, the curve shows us that uh, at uh, zero latitude which is the equator, uh, this is where we're doing worst, a maximum rotation rate. And as we move to either of the two poles, uh, we are doing much better. Recommendations to minimize field rotation in an alt as mount. High latitude, high azimuth, low altitude. So you have three options initially. You can either move to the North Pole or to Antarctica and uh, you can eliminate field rotation outright. Uh, or you can choose your targets when they are due east or due west or close by. Uh, the Rooster Inn Observatory, I am blessed here that uh, everything I have is uh, pointing due east because I have a mountain behind me. Uh, I, have, uh, I can view the sky along the meridian all the way from the north to the south uh, facing east. So I try to pick my target when they are closest to uh, 90 degrees when I'm using the sea star. Uh, image the targets low in altitude. Uh, I try to work uh, somewhere between 20 and 60 degrees uh, given that the targets rise by about 10 degrees per hour. Uh, that gives me plenty of time, about four hours uh, to stay on a target and that's plenty to image it. Alternatively, uh, use a field derotator. Uh, Stellina uh, rotates the sensor to stay with the target. 
And some of the larger telescopes, you can actually install a field derotator uh, on the sensor, so the sensor is rotating uh, with the telescope, so it will stay in alignment with the target, or, of course, the good old equatorial mount.